You're not even speaking to my friends, no You know all my uncles and my aunts, no Twenty candles blowing by then open your eyes We were looking for What's good on YouTube? It's your boy Mo And I'm back again with another video This time we're not gonna do a reaction video This time I'm gonna do a wave tutorial and you know And today I'm gonna teach y'all how to do the cold method Hot, cold Damn the cold towel method. My bad, guys. Kind of nervous. I'm going to um, teach you how to do the cold towel method. To do the cold towel method, you're going to need a hard brush, a soft brush, and a medium brush. So, how you going to do that? And a towel. You need a towel, 360 wave project, and a cup. So, the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna unwrap your do rag. Let me unwrap my do rag. As you can see, I'm a beginner. I don't have that much. I'm on my wolfing stage right now. So, first, you gotta take the brush, the soft brush, and lay your hair down. After you brush your hair, you're going to take your towel and dip it in the cold water. Make sure it's soaked. Now you're going to rinse it out. You don't want to rinse everything out. You still might want to leave. You don't want it to be too wet. You don't want it to be too dry. And you put it on your hair, just like the hot towel method. Put it on your hair. Press one, two, three. 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 You see that? And then what you do, you go ahead and brush it down again. Make sure it's laid down. Just lay down, make sure your hair is damp. You go ahead and brush. Brush the sides. Brush the back. Brush the front, left side front. Brush down. And then, now, after you do the cold towel method, you gotta dip your towel in the hot water. And we're gonna do the hot water method now. Just like the usual, you just put it up here. Press one, two, three. 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 So, you take your brush. Brush your hair till it's dry. Now, 
Now that you brushed your hair and your hair is all dry, you say you use your sporting wave, wave pomade. And you just take a dime size, a dime size. Push it through through your hair and rub it on your desired wave pattern. Just go through like this. Just like that. Me, personally, a dom size is not good enough for me because I got a big ass head. So what you gonna do? I'm gonna just get some more. And you know, just fill up the back and the behind. And when you're done, you take your do-rag, tie it up. Tie it up. Make sure it's tight. Now make sure it's tight. We don't want to hurt your head by stopping your... Now go ahead and stopping your blood from circulating. So just tie it up. I like to tie my do rags up on a knot, so I like to tie mine up front. And just tie it up. Tie it up like this. Make a knot. Fix it. Make sure it's tight. And there you go, you leave it for up to 30 minutes to an hour, or maybe overnight, and then you'll be straight. I'll come back and show y'all what it does, and how good did it work, how well would it work. We'll both see it's my first time doing it, so we're gonna see how it works. And my advice for the new waivers, do not, if you're on your wolfing stage, do not brush a lot. Again, do not brush a lot, because if you brush and then there's like eight weeks later, it's time for you to get your hair cut. The barber's going to cut everything that you brushed off. So it's going to be a waste of time. It's going to be a waste of time. But if you are a new waver, I advise for you to keep brushing. Just keep brushing. 24 hours. Brush, brush, brush. But if you're not a new waver and you're on your wolf stage, do not brush that much. Only for when you get a fresh cut. Then you All right. Brushing, brushing. It's been two hours since I wrapped my head up, put the pomade in it. Hot towel, cold towel method. Now I'm about to unwrap it to see how it looks. And here we go. Squash fingers, guys. Let's get it. Struggling with this. Let's get it. it ain't look no different, you know? Ain't really look different. Kinda look the same, matter of fact. Kinda look the same. Maybe it'll be better when I, if I get, if I go get my edge up and my taper, you know. Maybe it'll look a little bit better. That'll be it for the video. Well guys, that was it for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And um, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram at KTX underscore Mo. Um, if you want to see what I will be doing next, vlogs, videos, reactions, anything, um, just make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button, hit that bell on the notification button. The video 360 Jeezy. Oh, 20 candles, boom, I didn't open your